At first glance, it's simply an automatic rifle. But this isn't a usual gun. It's called a wiki weapon. That entire white section is made of plastic and can be made on any mid-range 3D printer at home. The group behind this rifle is called Defence Distributed, and these are their testing videos. They've 3D printed entire sections of an AR-15 automatic rifle that can shoot 100 rounds of ammunition. Now the gun's blueprints are available online, free of charge. We hope that the idea is stolen. We hope that the file itself is manipulated and changed and improved, and as materials uh, themselves improve, that, that we, we, we approach a system that's completely reliable, completely workable. 3D printers aren't a new technology. They make up objects from a digital model by building up layers of material. And printers like this are getting increasingly cheaper as technology develops. In this case, the printer is being used to create a receiver section of a semi-automatic rifle, a part that usually requires a license to own. This, however, requires no licenses, no permits and no background checks. Just print your own pistols in the privacy of your own home. So receiving word that they did receive several patients to the Danbury Hospital. It seems like this that have taken gun laws to the forefront of American discussion at the moment. 20 children and 6 adults died at Sandy Hook Primary in December, a massacre that has fueled the gun control debate. And these guns could fall into hands that are uh, people who should not have guns, criminals, uh, people who are seriously mentally ill, people who are convicted of domestic uh, violence, uh, even children. So Americans should be very concerned about this development. This is not uh, about freedom, it's about public safety and personal safety. Designers say their AR-15 blueprints have already been accessed 10,000 times since they were uploaded on February 25th. We're there. We, have the, we will have the reality of a weapon system that can be printed out from your desk. Anywhere there's a computer, there's a weapon. A do-it-yourself weapon that may be too hard to control. Lucas De Jong, BBC News.